Now, I'm going to use the smart tool and I'm going to change it the way it actually comes up. I'm going to make it fit what I want to do with it. I'm going to take the smart tool right here and make it into a time compression expansion tool. That's going to be my trimmer. Leave this like the way it is. Of course, you can't change that anyway. And now we're going to go to the grabber here, and that, of course, will be, we'll leave it here with just a time tool, just to grab stuff with. I click right here on top, and now it's a smart tool. Now, let me expand this view a little bit. I can pull out here a little bit more. Just drag that out. It's part of my lesson you learned already. And now, as you can see, I put it right here in the first track, and it becomes, the trimmer becomes this uh, time compression tool. As you can see right there, a little clock in the trimmer. At the top, it's a fader fade in. So it's a fade out right there. Other end, it's a fade in. In the middle, time compression. And here in the middle, top is a selector, and the bottom half is a grabber right there at the time, moving it in time and place in the track. Now, uh, I'm going to make all these bits and pieces I have here. It's already loop. They already loop. I'm going to turn them into the same tempo. And I make them all fit in, then add some fades, like a little DJ mix or something. So here we go. I'll play this first beat. Say what? Uh. Say what? Uh. Okay, got that. Now, I'll take this. I want to make it the same tempo. Look at my grid. First, I want to know is what the tempo of the grid is. I'm in grid mode. See this here? We're in grid. Not relative, but grid. I'll click right here. And now, see this here? This is my BPM. I want to make it map to 100 BPMs. That's better. Now, I grab this file here, and I want to make it fit the grid. Now, I want to make sure that I'm looking at this as bars and beats. I've grabbed it, and you see here it says that's two bars and three measures and change. Now, listen back in. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, as you can see, that's a two-bar phrase. And to fit 100 BPM, it's going to have to be much, much faster. So I'll go to the edge here and make it fit two bars. Remember, the grid is set for it already. There you go. That's two bars right there. Say what? Uh, say what? Uh. Now, see, the first thing you realize is that that's pretty bad. <laughs> it went from really, really slow to being really, really fast. That's the first problem you're going to have whenever doing time compression. So you got to make sure that you make it fit, the time compression can fit and so the sample can sound that chopped up, that chunky, that really, it's really bad. So time compression works, but it has to be within the same parameters, okay? So that's not going to work at all for us. So you can see that, right? So right now, I might do and say, well, look, I ain't going to go to, change this again, I might go to like 85. We'll try that. See? And see the grid change again? And now I'll grab this again. Play it again. Hey, I did it. And now let's see what does 85. Let's go to 85 here. And I'll pull it back in. And I want to get it to go two bars. Hey, what? Uh. Hey, what? Uh. Hey, what? Uh. Now the reason why it's looping, of course, is because we've got it selected here. Uh, and our options. We've got it set for loop playback. Okay, good. Now, I'll use that just for now. Now, mute this right here. We'll go to our next track, which is this one right here. That's four bars. So I want to just move this up here and make it probably blend with the other track. I think what I'll probably do is make it the last bar. I'm going to move it back here so it goes there. And you can see how the grid looks here. Each grid is separated by four divisions. So it's a quarter note grid we're using here. Great. Now, what I want to do here is make this one fit. And see, it says here that that's seven so far. So I probably got to speed this one up somewhat, right? So this one should be... Move it back here and make sure I'm at here. It should be eight bars long. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Right. 
So here, wait, it's seven from this in this grid. So I'm gonna hit probably move it up here. Make a start on the third measure. See, I'm starting from the third measure there. I need to stretch it out. Okay, we got that. Now, let's mute this track. Now, we'll do the bottom track here, which is called Gone. At the top of this one. Okay, this is like a... For a bar loop, okay? So we're gonna grab it and we'll see what it looks like. Now, see, see here, it's too short for this 85 BPM. So I wanna make it a full four bars. So I grab it, pull it out, and I know right here at the top it says four bars right there, right? Press play. Okay, good. Now, see, it's a little slower. Now I'll move this um, over here. I'll move it right over here, right behind that one. Right here, we'll do one bar there. That's good too. Now, I'll slide back over here. Now, I want to move this over by one bar. See, this is going to make these blend in on the last beat of each bar. Now, so got my smart tool going here. I'm going to put a crossfade here. More like a fade, not a crossfade, it's a fade. See that? I want to fade during that last bar. See that? And here, I want to fade in. So, put the smart tool there in the top of the region and pull it in. We're fading in from there to there. Now, we'll play it back. And see how it fades from one region to the next region. So we're just going to play it. Put it in, in play mode so no more mutes. And now. Uh, so I can move it back forward to get a better idea. Uh, uh, so we're cross fading here, right? So I'm going to do the same thing here in this one. I'm going to go back and move this. Let's see, this starts on, let's see what it starts on. This starts on the three, that's perfect. I'm gonna go here, the top, move it in slightly there, see that? And then the same one here. I just wanna get that blend between the two of them. There you go. This is like a cross fade, and since we're actually fading in and fading out on each separate track. the same tempo now on different tracks and we use the crossfade cross out and then we also used our smart tool trimmer time compression tool which helps us to get each one of these samples each regions to be the same tempo and this I can do sort of a mix between different tracks if a DJ comes by I can always do this at any point and as you can hear sometimes it's really not that great sound you gotta find the right tempo the right BPM to use for the right tracks and that's how it works.